<sighs> what wonderful instructions. Maybe that's what they mean. Nope, that doesn't work out. Not that one. Nope, not that one. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Grand Lady. I'm being a little quiet because Jim and Maya are asleep in the next room, but I wanted to tell you, we're pretty excited about what's been happening at the house this week. We finally got a dumpster into the yard after the snow has cleared up from the ground. We've had a pretty long winter, and that dumpster has allowed us to clear out the rooms of the, the rubble left over from the demolition that we did this winter. So the house is starting to look cleaner. We've got some new tools that we're putting together, getting ready for all the upcoming projects. We're going to be building some walls, putting in some wood floors, working on some furniture and some DIYs, and hopefully eventually <laughs> putting the kitchen in as well. It's all going to be a great summer. I can feel it. So if you like what you're seeing, it'd be great if you could subscribe and hit that like button if you're having a good time. Without further ado, let's get this episode started. Oh shoot, I think I woke up Maya. Well, that's fun. That's the only place in all these parts where we have a smaller diameter tube into a larger diameter tube. Yep. And more parts in some place. Ah, oh, here we go. There's two minutes one. There we go. I'm probably going to wish I had some Loctite here, but okay. One. Nothing matches. Except it looks like it's done. I don't have that even. extra nuts. That's interesting. What to do if the part doesn't fit? Get a bigger hammer. There it fits. Well, that's very helpful. What? Should be a washer. But there's no washer. Yeah, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna go get a socket. 13 millimeter socket to the rescue. You know, they mentioned the washers, I just forgot to enclose them. What kickstand or tube? Bingo. Bingo, bingo. I like easy. Does it really make any difference? Warning. F. F. Huh. Know that we're going to want to have the blade aligned this way. Tip the saw over. Put it the way they say. I don't like it. Take it apart and change it later. First time to try following their instructions. Might know better than me about this. Awkward. That would be a step. That would happen after a roll in the position. on those legs to put it up that way. Let's make sure that's what they think is best. With all the legs open, pull stand toward you and tilt over until all feet are on the ground. So that's what we want to do. Hmm. I really like that. That's what they say. Nice and tight. Not 
Let's take down this last closet wall in three, two, one. Ta-da! Well, almost. We couldn't take the studs down because apparently they're holding up some shorter pieces of floor up on the third floor. So we're stalled for now. So we removed the wall here and we were examining the joists before we decided to take out these two by fours and came across this strange construction up here. Uh, so Jim's gonna tell us a little bit more about it. We used to have a wall here. Yeah. And up above, there are the floor joists. That's the floor joist there. There's a floor joist here. Yeah. And then the floor joist over there. Yeah. And when we started, we thought this was this piece was just up there to support the studs for the wall that was here. And after we've taken the wall away and taken a closer look at that, we have found out that there is another piece of two by 10. Which you can see on this, oop, on this side. Over here. And we're like, what was that for? <laughs> and going upstairs and exploring why that's there, if there's a good reason other than holding these studs. We found that the flooring upstairs doesn't extend all the way to the floor joist. To this one back here. This. The one it should extend to. It should extend over this and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It stops, it's cut off, and it sits on this support piece. So to cure that and be able to get rid of the wall, and not fall through the floor upstairs. We're gonna take out this flooring that's cut short. We'll cut it back at least to this floor joist and then cut longer pieces to go over to this floor joist. And the complication of that is that there's a wall for the upstairs bedroom sitting right over this. So the upstairs bedroom wall is non-structural. We're gonna take it out, expose the top of this joist, and make the floor upstairs right. One more thing that we have to do. <laughs> we think that that all came about, this floor was replaced maybe. You can see the wood looks a little newer on this side than that side. There was a fire upstairs we found evidence of soot on the chimney and one of the walls upstairs. And when I was cleaning out this window frame, um, there was a whole bunch of soot that had been left behind the wall from the fire. So we were thinking that floor was probably replaced after the fire. And the insurance company didn't want to take out the wall, so yeah. they cut the flooring short as an economy measure. Well, that's your... That's your theory? That's my theory. <laughs> Jim's theory of insurance company stuff. And left this mess for us. Well, let's go look at it upstairs. So, so this is the wall you were talking about it's, that's over the original joist. Yep. And I've started taking it apart. Look over here. Let's see all this flooring. Stops right here's the soap plate all along there. So to cut the boards here, uh huh. And this is what's sitting on that second joist that we see. Yep. That's being supported by the uh, studs that were in the closet that we thought were just closet studs, but turns out they're holding up this part of the floor. We're gonna take out this this wall. We'll okay. take out those studs and this sill plate, and that'll allow us to get to the, the joist underneath. We'll use some of the scrap wood from up here that the roofers <clears throat> ingloriously removed. We'll find some useful pieces of that that we can span from this joist over to this joist. So we'll fix this, and then we'll put this wall back. 
You're gonna try to remove this without damaging the wood. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get this out so we can reuse these bits and pieces. <sighs> well, or at least most of it. You, you take down a closet wall and you get into just something more fun. Just in order to take down that closet wall and have the floor be good. <laughs> One thing at a time. He did manage to keep this wall in almost one piece. We just slid it out a couple of feet so we could get access to the joist that's underneath it. Getting out our antique jigsaw. I wonder how old this jigsaw is actually. <laughs> Where did you get it? That's my dad's. Really? Yeah. Wow. Black and Decker with the solid, solid metal case. That's your dad's? Yeah, that's my dad's. Aww. Black and Decker number 7535, two speed jigsaw. Let's see if we can figure out what year that's from. Yeah. <laughs> that's so sweet. It's a, a brush type electric motor. These two plastic things and screw out and they have a spring under it and then a carbon brush to go to the commutator on the electric motor that makes it go. <laughs> I did find that we have some broken jigsaw blades and maybe one of these will be the right length to cut through our full one inch flooring and not cut into the floor joist. So the thing I'm gonna do next is find one that just cuts to the bottom of this, cuts through this. Or if it's not one of those, then we'll get a plier and we'll break one off to be the right length. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices Making me afraid Jim has cut both sides of the short pieces. He's cut them off of the incorrectly placed joist and the regular joist and now he's removing them so we can replace them with longer, more appropriate pieces. The Yep, that should be okay now. Not too much stuff left to fall on your head. You want to bring the camera down? Yes, please. Okay. Can we do the honors? Yeah, please do the honors. Super Lindsay.
fortunately for us, it wasn't one of the old wavy pieces of glass. It was just a modern piece of glass, so not much lost here. We spent a lot of time picking glass up off the sidewalk and the yard out there, then put up some caution tape so none of the neighbor kids would walk through our yard. It's so chewed. Yep. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait Inducted into the Carpenters Union tomorrow. Tomorrow already? Yeah. Maybe day after tomorrow. Let's make Not enough that we can put the wall back in, right? Yeah, of course. Yes, too good. <laughs> 